Hello, and welcome to Poke Openings. Um, this time, as you can tell from uh, the bottom and the large artwork there, it is the Charizard EX box. Uh, if we go to the back, we have the Kenzo Gimori art of uh, Charizard, I think from Fire Red and Leaf Green. It may have been later than that, I can't remember. Anyway, fan the flames of battle with Charizard. I would read that, but that that's, you know. I'm sure none of you particularly care massively. Uh, but this includes, as you can see from the back, a Charizard EX never seen before, a uh, foil promo card. Four Pokemon TCG booster packs, a special oversized foil promo card, and a online code card for the TCG online. So, as you can see, a fuckload of Charizard, uh, some packs and stuff, so, well, let's basically just get into it, shall we? Uh, obviously, when I say get into it, I will open it first. Uh, yay, I'm doing the classy way of just tearing it from the front. Uh, right, and huzzah! Nope, that's not opened it at all. Uh, right, hey, there we go, that's opened it. Right, now to pull everything out. Because chances are you're probably watching this to see me do that, and not, you know, just open it. Right, as you can see, there's uh, a fair amount of stuff, so if I pull off the front. Actually, I'm going to keep that in there for now, because we can have a closer look at it in a second with the oversized card, but basically, yes, that's a Charizard, as you can see, it's a promo uh, XY17, I believe, but if you want a closer look at the card, voila, that is Charizard EX, as you can tell, it's the exact same thing, it's just larger. Uh, so yeah, the art is pretty damn superb, and like all other oversized cards, it's very very shiny. Uh, and these are obviously it's attacks and stuff. Uh, you wouldn't play this one; you'd play the smaller one, obviously. Let's have a deck of oversized cards, which is very niche, I imagine. Uh, right, yeah, and it even has the promo thing there, which is good, I guess. You know, actually, I don't know how many oversized cards are not was uh, if anyone uh, you know watching this collects oversized cards I'd love to hear about it actually because I have two now I have the dark cry from plasma box and I have this anyway and of course one of the main reasons most of you are watching I will take that code card and flip it over thankfully that did not show up on camera that's the uh, code card from that side. I don't really want to show you the code because I'd like to use it myself. And as you can see, we have four boosters. Two X and Y and two Flashfire. That fills me with dread because Flashfire has never been particularly good for me. But uh, we'll do it in chronological order. So we'll begin with X and Y and this uh, Xunius pack. Uh, let's see what I can get. I have most of the X and Y set. Well, I say most of it. I have a lot of the rares. Uh, I think I have all of the rares, actually. Uh, all I do not have is a lot of the Xs, so obviously they're harder to pull, and the ultra rares, because, again, they're harder to pull. So, here's hoping I get something pretty darn good. Uh, right, let's put it like that, turn around. And we begin with a Honedge. Froakie. Bunnelby. A Sandile. I swear to God, I've seen that art hundreds of times now. Voltorb. A Hard Charm. A Dewblade. Ooh, will we get an Age Flash in this and complete the set? Ooh, a Voltorb. That's cool. We got an, uh, 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 it's an Electrode, not a Voltorb. We got a Voltorb, though. Our reverse is a Illumise. That's that's pretty cool. I, I don't mind Illumise. I think that's an uncommon. So that's not two rares in the pack. And we have a rare Starmie. That's... Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you know, nothing spectacular, but then... 
nothing wrong with that. That is, uh, that's deck worthy, I think, if that's the Starmie I'm thinking of. It may be the wrong one. Uh, let's get on to the other X and Y. This one is Mega Blastoise. The Mega, I kind of forget, exists, despite the fact Blastoise uh, is one of my favourite. Uh, Gen 1 Pokemon, and just general favourite Pokemon. Uh, right. Okay. Let's begin our second pack with a Weedle. A Rhyhorn. Bidoof, yay. Spoink. A Ponyard. Ooh, cool. Rainbow Energy, that all is useful. A Shadow Circle, not Dark Circle, as I was about to call it. Ooh, an Inkey, yay. Our reverse is a Sycamore. I'm, I'm happy with that. I quite like me some Sycamore. As in, he's, he's a cool guy. Uh, you know, don't don't take anything else from that comment. And our last one is a uh, Stoutland, which is that is a rare. Yeah, do I have a Stoutland? I probably do. Um, so that was a bit of an underwhelming uh, uh, two packs there, but maybe Flash Five will pick up. Um, you know, so I'll go with uh, Pyro first because. I like American Charizard X a bit more than Pyro, although I do love Pyro as well. Um, it's strange that they waited until 6th gen to introduce a lion Pokemon. I always thought that was a bit weird, because generally speaking, when you look at the Animal Kingdom, one of the first things you think of that make a cool monster is a lion. But, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm biased towards lions. Uh, right. Okay. This is our first flash wire pack. Will we get anything good? Maybe we will, maybe we won't. That's generally how cards tend to work. We begin with Gumi. A Flababy, yes. A Stunky. A Bergmite. Ooh, Pinecore. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. He's, he's pretty damn cool. Ooh, Crocorock, yeah, looking pretty suave there. We have a Blacksmith. Yep, yeah, yeah, not that is right. A Luxio, I swear to God, these come in almost every Flashfire pack I've ever opened. We have a Reverse Sandile, that's cool, understated uh, dark type card there. And our Rare or whatever, hey, hello. Okay. <laughs> Right, Mega Charizard uh, EX. That's that's pretty darn amazing. Actually, I I I'm, I'm gonna go grab a sleeve. I'll be right back. I am back with the sleeve because I thought, well, you know, it's an EX, and the first EX I've pulled from Flashfire. That's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, that's its attack. Well, three hundred. That's uh, okay. It does fifty damage to itself, but that's pretty darn cool, yo. So Mega Charizard, it's Mega Charizard Y, I believe. Um, oh, uh, yeah, no, EX. Sorry, yeah. Um, that's weird, don't that? It doesn't say because I imagine there's a Mega Charizard X, uh, X EX card as well. But whatever, I'm pretty damn happy with that. That's uh, yeah, he looks pretty cool, and I believe that in the Japanese would say Crimson Dive in English, because we get the Japanese and the Japanese get us. Oh, English, not us. They don't get us as a card, because that would be weird and would need to represent everyone that isn't Japanese, I suppose. Okay, on the last pack, will we be able to top a Mega Charizard card? I do not think so, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, I... Definitely know that a certain friend, hello Glyn, uh, will will be very slightly jealous of that card, I think. Um, you know, which which is understandable, because it's a fucking cool card. Right, this pack does not want to open. Okay, haha. Right, shuffle this really quickly, and... Let's dive into it. We have a Skrelp. 
Punita, Asper, a Pidgey, a Litleo, a Nuzleaf. I don't think I've seen that art either. He's quite adorable there. A Karakarok, another Blacksmith. The reverse is Pidgeot. That's cool. Or Pidgeot. This is a debate I've had recently with some people. Is it Pidgeot? Is it Pidgeot? Is it... I don't know. And our final card is a Meowstic. That's cool. I don't have that card either. So that is pretty cool. Your influence. Uh, yeah. As you like. Uh, when you Pokemon, other Pokemon in any way. Uh... Hang on, so, oh right, uh, you can move, sorry, not put, I misread that. Okay, brief recap then for the cards, from X and Y, I got a Stoutland, a Starmie, and then from Flashfire, as you just saw, I got a Meowstic, and a motherfucking Mega Charizard. <sighs> Mega Charizard, yeah, sorry, not just Mega Charizard, look at him, he is so fucking cool. Yeah, he knows what's up. Uh, so yeah, that um, that that was that was a pretty damn good pull, and not something I expected, if I'm honest with you. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video, and until next time, goodbye.